All right, folks, we have a really nice chair here, because I say that all the time, but most of the chairs that come through my office are literally brand new, because we're very picky about the chairs we buy. So this one here has 19 miles. It was used less than a month. It has electric tilt, electric recline, and the electric feet, and the color is black, shiny black color, literally brand new, just about. So on this one, if you want to make the seat tilt, recline, legs go up, you have to do it through the joystick. So what you do, you go to the button on the left where you just turned it on. You're going to keep going forward until you see a picture of your seat in the screen. So I'm going to keep going forward. Now I have a picture of the seat in the screen. If the seat is yellow on the back and the bottom, that's your tilt. If the seat is yellow just on the back, that's your recline. And if it's yellow just on the legs, it's the leg. So whatever function you want, you're going to have to move the joystick sideways until you find the color you want. So I'm going to go back to the seat being yellow in the back. So now once I have the bottom yellow and the back yellow, I can move this backward like this. You can see it's going back. This is called electric tilt. Of course, the legs in the back are going to go back because they're all connected to the tilting to the seat. This has a lot of good benefits if you need to relieve pressure off your bottom, pressure off your back. You need to have circulation in your leg or you just want to relax. It has a lot of benefits. Okay. So here we go. We have the electric tilt. That's as far as it will go. The next thing I want to show you, I'm changing the color here to yellow on the feet. And now you've got your feet. I want to show you how, how high you can get your feet on this chair. Look at that, folks. You'll probably be on the ceiling in a second. Now, that's a little extreme, but you will have good circulation here. All right, but you don't have to be that high. So I'm going to go back to the seat and bring it back down halfway. So you can see even halfway reclined or tilted, I'm sorry, even here, your feet are still higher than your body, okay? So I'm gonna bring the seat back down to flat. <clears throat> Actually, I'm just gonna leave it right about here. The next thing I'm gonna show you is the recline. The recline is just the back going back. So right now, if you watch the back, it's going back by itself. This is called electric recline. So this is what it would look like. This is as far as it'll go. That's your positioning if you're laying flat. <coughs> so I'm going to bring the, the back up and the legs down at the same time. So now I've got yellow back, yellow legs on my screen. I'm pushing the joystick forward. Very simple. So if you're buying this chair, just go back to the video if you forget, because it's all there in the videos. So I'm going to leave the legs there. I'm going to keep bringing the back up forward until we're in the driving position. <coughs> Let's look at the base real quick. So this is a mid-wheel drive. So some of you probably hear me say this all the time. A mid-wheel drive means your drive wheels, your big wheels, are in the middle of the chair. may not be exactly, but it's pretty much in the middle, okay? The reason they're there, it gives you the best turning radius. When you have a mid-wheel drive, you're always going to have a wheel in front on the ground and a wheel in the back on the ground. You don't, you, so the chair doesn't do this, okay? It keeps, it keeps its level. That's why you have a good turning radius. When you turn a circle, you'll see the wheel spin like this and like that one to keep the chair in the same spot all the time, okay? So right now, this chair, the seat is sitting at 22 inches high. As you can see, there's, three, there's two holes left right here. So that seat could be dropped down two more inches. So we're at 22, but if you wanted to seat at 20 inches right here, we could drop the seat post two more inches and drop your seat to 20. So right now it's sitting at 22. We can put it at, at 21 or 20, okay? These are anchor points that are built into the frame. You can see this is where you secure your chair. You have four of these around the chair to secure if you transport this chair. These are your motors. Motors for this wheel. There's a motor on the other side for the other wheel. These motors, folks, are directly connected to the wheel. There's no chain, no belt. There's no maintenance. It's all sealed, okay? If I want to push this chair, you can see I can't push it because it's in gear. But if I turn the power off, and the reason you want the power off, you want no resistance in the motors. No resistance. Power is off. You see the yellow lever? Not too hard. Push it down, and now you're in neutral. Boop. You got to do both motors, okay? When you're done, put it back in gear. You can see you're back in gear, okay? 
I also want to show you this. I'm going to turn it back on now. Wait a few seconds. And there we go. Put it back in drive. I want to show you the suspension in front. Look at that big old spring right here. Same thing on that side. That's for each fork. That same suspension is in the back on this chair. You can see it right here. These are independent from each other. If I raise this, you can see that one stays on the ground. So they are independent suspension. Okay. If you turn a circle, that's what it looks like. Let me speed it up a little bit. So if you turn a circle in your house, that's what it looks like. You see how the wheels spin and follow the middle wheels? Look at that. It stays in the same spot. You also have a fully adjustable headrest. Okay. It needs to be tightened up, of course. Uh, what else is on this chair? Oh, we might not forget this. We have a drain cup holder on this one. So this one comes with a drain cup holder that's removable. You also have a swing away joystick, so when you get to a table, instead of hitting the joystick and possibly damaging your joystick, you can move the joystick to the side. If you're left-handed, we can put everything to the left and put the cup holder on this side, okay? You, so the seat on this chair, folks, right now is about 18 by 18, okay? It doesn't really matter what the seat size is on this chair, okay? Because we customize these seats. So if you buy this chair and it's too, the seat's too big, we can put a smaller cushion. We can make the frame smaller. Put a, we can adjust the seat, the back, to your size. So if, you, if this is the chair you want, we'll adjust it for your size and your weight. You have, a, <clears throat> you have a safety belt, nice cushion, nice back. It feels like leather, but I don't think it's leather. This is a breathable headrest. When you charge the batteries in this chair, you'll take your quantum charger that we have here, and you plug it right there, and as soon as the lights goes to full, or from orange to green, the charger will cut off. It knows when the batteries are full, it'll cut off, okay? So let's recap here what we have. We have a Quantum Edge 2.0 power chair. This power chair has 19 miles, less than a month usage. It has the um, electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet. It has the swing away joystick, the drain cup holder, the safety belt, the anchor point, the solid tires, which will not mark your floor, the suspension we talked about, the adjustable headrests. So if you need a chair, but you don't need the seat lift, you just want tilt, recline, and leg, which is total comfort right there, and you spend all day long in your chair, this would be another really nice one. So, so this is the Quantum Edge 2.0 black in color. Top speed is 6.3 miles an hour. Very easy to drive. When you let go of the joystick, watch, I'm going to let go. It stops automatically. It has built-in brakes in the motors. You can also drive these chairs with the joystick like a gas pedal. So if I just push this a little bit, it barely moves. So you can go like a gas pedal, or you can change the speed here. There's five speed or four or five speeds on here. You can break down to speed one, speed two, speed three, speed four. You can see how easy they handle. And this chair will do pretty good in the grass also. As you can see, it has no problem in the grass. So if you're looking for a nice chair with electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet, uh, black in color, Solid tires, 6.3 miles an hour, used less than a month. It's a nice one here. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.